Hello everyone, my name's Gerd. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own motorbikes and push bikes using my Unity package. So I'm just going to quickly load this game and demonstrate. So I'm going to show you how to set up a bicycle today, just because the motorbikes are exactly the same to set up, except there's just less stuff to do with them, because these you need to get the pedals to rotate. So, enough playing it, let me show you how to get it done. Now I'm going to show you how you can set up the bikes. So what I've done is just made an empty scene with a terrain in it. And what I'm going to do is up here, press GAD Games, and then set up new push bike. And if you want to set up a motorbike, um, just the new bike. So you can see we've got the Z direction facing forward here. And we need to, when we push this bike in, and if you see it doesn't face this same Z direction, just rotate this like this and to get it the right size instead of changing this scale first of all make sure these scales are all at one and then change the scale factor if you need to resize the bike that you've got this I've just downloaded off the internet and I'll put a link in the description for it so what I'm going to do first is unpack this prefab so we can change it without kind of getting things annoyed and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to categorize these just to make the rest of the video easier and I'm going to come back when this is done and explain what I've done okay so what I've done is categorize these into five I've got one for the frame the pedals the front wheel rear wheel and steering so the steering is all these parts that are going to be turning and then obviously rear and front wheel and then the frame is everything that isn't going to be going to be turned at all so like everything that's always going to remain in the same position and then finally the pedals so now what we can do is open up the new bike and you'll see we've got some things to use here and the frame is the mesh group so we can close that, that's completely done the pedals, um, what I'm going to do for the pedals is go isometric view and then up, where is it, pedal pivot, move this to where the pedals are going to rotate from, like the whole, all of it, so in the complete center and then up here we've got the left pedal which is going to be going up there and the right pedal be going over there and now I'm going to get behind it and go right pedal there where it's going to be rotating and then same with the left pedal so now what I'm going to do is open up the pedals I've got the right one here that's going to go under right pedal left pedal under left pedal and then the rest of the pedal stuff so I've got the uh, the gear bits here and all the things that are going to be rotating going to go underneath the pedal pivot so now that all that bit's done what we're going to do we've got the front wheel and rear wheel so under the wheels and steering on the new bike game object we're going to have this front wheel position which is going to be the pivot where the front wheel is going to be rotating around so you've got to make sure this is centered up nicely otherwise you have some bumpiness but I'm not going to bother doing that I'm just going to put the front wheel underneath the front wheel pos and then get the rear wheel pos put it roughly to where it's going to be rotating around and then put the rear wheel underneath the rear wheel pos like that and then so now what I'm going to do is go down we've got the fork parent I'm going to zoom out a bit and put this up the top where the handlebars are going to pivot from so we angle it like that and then get the fork pivot put it roughly in the same place and put it as a child and then you'll see the rotation gets changed so we put this back to zero and now we can rotate this and it only changes the Y which is what we want and I'll show you in a sec because when we put the steering under the fork pivot and we rotate this around the Y axis it rotates like handlebars should and so next we've got the center of gravity 
We can delete this bike now because we've taken everything out of it. Center of gravity, move it up here. And then crash triggers. We need to do the um, colliders first. I'll do that in a sec. Nitrous group on motorbike physics. We've got the um, prefabs here. Nitrous effects, blue flames. And then I'm going to put that as a child of this nitrous group. And move it to about there. And this arrow is going to be coming out opposite of it. And it's going to start there. So I can actually demonstrate quickly like that. So just put that where you want. And then, yeah, pedal group, we have done this. So now what we need to do next actually is go on to the um, motorbike physics, wheel colliders, push bikes, and add in a rear collider, but as a child of this wheels and steering. And I need to turn on the gizmos. Going to put that roughly there. Front collider as a um, child of the foot pivot. And also while I'm here, front wheel as a child of the foot pivot. And then I'm going to get this front collider, put it in its place. And then now all we have to do is make the collisions. So I'm just going to add a empty. And then I'll oh, capture all. Add a capsule collider. Going to put it through to Z. Going to minus this radius quite a bit. And then I'm just going to start moving this around. I'm going to shrink this a bit as well. There we go. I'm duplicate it. Rotate it. I can't really see exactly where it's going because all these gizmos. We go rotate that and then rotate again. I'm not even going to bother making it shorter. Uh, I will for this one though. Go about 0 0.3. And now I'm going to put one for the bars and just keep in mind that the bars collider have to be still. I haven't figured out a way I can do it without it affecting the physics and the handling. So that's something I'm looking into and hopefully I'll put that in an update soon. So now I've got this one for the bars. I'm going to duplicate it and put it as one of the crest triggers and then up the radius a bit and just set it as a trigger. So now that everything is actually set up on the bike, we just need to fill up these variables. Crash tag, I'm gonna just write ground. And if we have a tag of ground on like the ground, um, when we touch it with the triggers on the bars, it will make us crash. Um, I'm gonna have another video explaining all these. The audio source in sound effects. If you've got motorbikes, this one's here. I haven't got any sound effects for these push bikes right at the moment. Um, so I'm not going to put one. But you want to put this on loop. Not just power. 50. Um, VFX. We want the blue not just particles. And the not just sound. I'm going to turn this down. Because the bike's going to be stupid fast. Okay, we've got two wheel colliders and two wheels. So for the wheel collider, we need the rear one first, then the front one. And then also for the wheels, what we're going to need to have is the rear wheel pause as the first one, and then the front wheel pause as the second. Fork pivot is just this fork pivot. Center of gravity is the center of gravity. Pedal rotation object is this pedal pivot here. And then we've got to add in the two pedals, and these don't have to be in any order. There we go, right, left pedal. And then 
we should now have to put in this. Angular drag is 1, drag 0 0.05, mass about 60, and then I'm going to put this mass at no, about 3, just for now. And then we can change these all later on. Just check the center of gravity, yeah, it's in place. Main camera, we've got this third person camera script, so just search for that and put it on. And then just drag in the bike. And if you want to use the speedo, it's a really simple one. Um, it's in this prefabs and the speedo. Drag that in. And then add in this bike for the controller. And this bike for the noxious script. And unchecked in test scene. Unless you are in a test scene, then you're using my vehicle selection. But as you can see, we now have a working push bike. So hopefully you've got your bike working. If not, if you've got any questions, just send me a message and I'll get back to you. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye.